Welcome to my channel, Hotspot with Loveth, the ultimate spot for all things entertainment, ranging from celebrity gists, reviews, interesting stories, and African folktales. Subscribe now. So guys, this episode is a review of Ruth Kadiri's latest release, After School. Now guys, After School is a fascinating film that delves into critical themes such as bullying, the detrimental impact of poor parenting on children, and the importance of self-advocacy when facing bullies. Now this movie not only brings to light these significant issues, but also offers a narrative that resonates deeply with viewers, providing entertainment and a powerful message. Now guys, a notable aspect of After School is the work of Ruth Kadiri, who deserves commendation for her role as a star maker in the Nollywood industry. Ruth Kadiri consistently introduces fresh talent to the audience, demonstrating her unwavering confidence in her storytelling and production abilities. Her commitment to showcasing new faces not only enriches the film industry, but also reflects her belief in nurturing and presenting new actors to the world. This quality of continually bringing fresh talent to the fore is a testament to her dedication and passion for her craft. Now, Ruth Kadiri's influence and vision are clearly evident in After School, making it a must-watch for anyone interested in compelling narratives that tackle real-life issues while also appreciating the vibrant and evolving landscape of Nollywood cinema. Now, After School the movie is a high school drama that introduces us to Alex, a boy renowned for his exceptional intelligence in class. Initially, it seems as though Alex's story will be the central focus of the film. However, the story shifts to explore the dynamics within the Kalu's family. Mr. and Mrs. Kalu have a daughter named Joanne and employ a housemaid named Benes, a widow with a gifted daughter, Mimi. Now, Mrs. Kalu frequently compares her daughter Joanne unfavorably to Mimi, both in terms of physical appearance and academic prowess. This constant comparison breeds a deep-seated resentment in Joanne towards Mimi. Both Mimi and Joanne are in their final year of high school, albeit in different schools. Mimi initially attends a low-income school, but thanks to the generosity of the Kalu family, she transfers to Joanne's more prestigious school to take the WIAG exams. This change exacerbates Joanne's animosity towards Mimi. The situation worsens when Alex, intrigued by Mimi's intelligence, being the only one who matches his academic brilliance, starts showing interest in her. Now, Alex's attention towards Mimi infuriates Joanne, who has long desired his attention and affection. The movie intricately weaves the themes of envy, familial pressure, and the impact of comparisons, highlighting how these elements shape the characters, relationships, and actions. The film sheds light on the challenges faced by adolescents in a competitive academic environment and the emotional turmoil that stems from parental expectations and rivalry. Joanne went to great lengths to tarnish Mimi's reputation in the eyes of her parents. Initially, her efforts appeared to be paying off. However, Joanne's actions took a drastic and shocking turn when she plotted Mimi's kidnapping. Mimi went missing for days, causing significant concern. The situation escalated when Mimi's close friend at school, Ladi, reported her disappearance to the school authorities. Ladi had been on a call with Mimi the morning she vanished and heard Mimi scream, followed by the sound of a car trunk slamming shut. This alarming incident led Lade to suspect that something terrible had happened to Mimi, prompting her to take action by informing the school about the troubling events. Lade reported Joanne as the prime suspect, mentioning that Joanne had always bullied Mimi. In an attempt to deflect blame, Joanne tried to frame Lade by using a video she had recorded of Lade expressing jealousy towards Mimi during a vulnerable moment. However, Joanne's deceit unraveled when her phone kept ringing during the interrogation. The investigating officer had already discovered an incriminating message on Joanne's phone. As a result, the truth came to light. Mimi was found safe and Joanne was arrested. Joanne blamed her mother for her actions, stating that the constant comparisons to Mimi had driven her to this point. Her mother's incessant reminders that Mimi was superior in every way had fueled Joanne's resentment and led her down a destructive path. The final year exams arrived and all the students except Joanne completed their exams it is implied that Joanne remained detained, likely in a juvenile prison. Now guys, After School is indeed a captivating film, but it leaves some aspects undeveloped. Now one notable shortcomings is the film's treatment 
of Joanne's singing talent, which was highlighted particularly during her moments of deep sadness. Now, this element of her character, which had the potential to add depth and dimension to her story, was not explored further. In my opinion, this was a missed opportunity. Now, this missed opportunity to delve into Joanne's musical abilities could have provided a richer, more nuanced understanding of her character and most importantly added depth and complexity to her character. Now had Ruth Cattery delved deeper into Joanne's musical abilities, it could have provided a meaningful counterbalance to her negative actions. For instance, this could have served as a redemptive arc for her character, offering a glimmer of help amidst her struggles. By so doing, the movie could have delivered a more profound message about the destructive nature of envy and the healing power of artistic expression. Further exploration of Joanne's singing talent could have been a means for Joanne to find solace and perhaps even forgiveness from herself and others, thereby adding more emotional depth to the movie such that viewers could empathize with Joanne, making it truly mind-blowing and memorable for the audience. More so, I was dissatisfied with the ending of the film because it left Joanne's fate unresolved. Now, as a minor, we were not informed about her sentence or how her story concluded, leaving us hanging without a closure. Now, this is particularly important given that Mimi had told Joanne's mother that she forgave Joanne. Now, while After School is an interesting movie, it contains a few significant loopholes that detract from the overall experience. These unresolved elements and missed opportunities in the narrative impacted the film's effectiveness. And due to these shortcomings, I would rate the movie a 6 out of 10.